It's the ultimate payback for anyone who's been told the checks in the post. The client is inside saying she can't pay, so this builder is destroying his own work. Round the back, the conservatory is coming down. The house is owned by the council, who say this is a private dispute. The builders claim the council are fully behind them. Very satisfying to knock it down and see what the lady get what was coming to her, but at the same time gut-wrenching because all that hard work that we'd already done falling on the floor. The demolition was ordered by a boss at the end of his rope. You're setting a precedent here. I am setting a precedent, absolutely, yeah, without a doubt. You know, I, I think you know, there's, a, there's a lot of people out there who have probably been in my position uh, and I've been very fortunate to be able to get in and get my stuff back because you hear some horror stories out there and it's happening every day. Nigel's client refused to speak to us, but when we dropped by, her 20-year-old son was waiting. I'm going to hear your side of the story. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? My mum's realised she's done wrong and she regrets doing it. And uh, me and my mum have had a chat on that. And uh, she, as, as I said to her, I said uh, she should have uh, said to him at the, at the end of it when he finished that she couldn't afford to pay it. And then maybe we could have come across another way of sorting it out apart from this. So where are we now then? Nigel Gray says that the time and effort that he's put into this whole sorry episode is going to cost his business thousands. And Mrs Dovey now faces two bills, one for the clearing up of all the demolition work and two for making good the mess that's been made of her house. If she doesn't pay up, she faces prosecution. The builders say these drastic measures were about salvaging their materials in the hope of clawing back their losses. But it also stands as a warning to anyone tempted to splash out on something they can't afford. Nick Wallace, Sky News, Shoreham on Sea.